a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be 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 a good day. Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about a trip I went on recently with some friends of mine as well as the books that I purchased on said trip. So it is June 7th and our trip ended on the 5th so it's been a couple days. My friends have already come out with the videos explaining what happened during our trip and everything um, but this is going to be my take on it. I know it's been a few days and it's probably going to be one of the later videos to come out um, just because coming back I was completely like pooped out like it took me a very long time to recuperate i'm still recuperating that trip drained me <laughs> i had so much fun but it drained me so i am finally up to chatting to a camera um i put on <laughs> minimal amount of makeup and it's like about to be midnight so we're, we're gonna do this now we're gonna do this now and i'm so excited to talk about it so if you are not active on instagram on my instagram and the ladies that are all going to be linked down below you might not know that i went on a trip to atlanta georgia from june 2nd to the 5th a few ladies and me have been planning this trip for many months and we have been so excited for it. Um, we were gonna hang out for a couple days in Atlanta, just meet each other in person for the first time, read some good books, chat, have good conversations, and of course go book shopping. I actually filmed an opening clip to a vlog I was gonna do there, um, but I did a clip at the beginning and then I filmed only B-roll for the rest of the trip. Like, and I didn't feel like that was all entertaining, so I thought I'd explain it to you and maybe throw in some B-roll clips throughout the video. I had been looking forward to this trip for quite a long time. I've been going through a lot of health issues in 2022. 2022 has not been my year, let's just say that. <laughs> this trip has kind of been my shining star in the horizon that I've been looking forward to that has been honestly helping me get through a lot of stuff. We started planning this, I think I want to say back in February, and I was knee deep into the horribleness. I'm still knee deep into it, but it was like, felt like it was possibly impossible for me to go on something like this. But my parents were really adamant about me going. They were like, no matter what, even if we have to go on a plane with you, you will be going on this trip. You need something happy happening in your life. I was so sad and so depressed and when my friends reached out to me i honestly started breaking down crying even th to even be thought about to be asked to go on this trip because i was like this is what i needed this is what has helped me get through the past couple months and i'm not lying you would think it'd be silly like a trip helped you get through months of grueling health issues I'm like yes something that small was something for me to look forward to and be like, I have to do better. I have to be strong. I have to stay positive. I need to give all my friends big hugs and be happy. And so I'm proud to say I did that. I'm proud to say that I went on this trip. I was, I, I was by myself for the first time in like six months because my parents have been taking care of me because of health issues, obviously. And it's the first time I was alone for multiple hours, not in my own home for the first time in months. And that was probably the scariest part for me. I'm actually going to be coming out with a video um, on my second channel, which is always linked down below. It's called Chronically Courageous. Um, it is a channel all about my chronic illnesses and my autoimmune disorders and disabilities, um, kind of like video topics involving that. So I'm gonna be making a video shortly um, talking about traveling for the first time as a disabled person. You can look forward to that. I'm not gonna be going into my disability and the way I got around really in this video all that much, um, you're gonna be looking at that that video for that. Um, I don't know if it's out already, but if not, it will shortly be out because I really wanted to make a video like that um, for those who have disabilities and chronic illnesses and might be scared to travel because I was and I still am, even after going through all of that, I am not afraid to say I still am scared to travel, especially by myself. I also wanna say before we get into the rest of the video, like a shout out to all of my friends who went on this trip because every single one of them was so accommodating and nice to me and didn't make me feel like I was a burden whatsoever when I was with them um, because I definitely had that fear. I'm a big catastrophizer. I think about the worst case scenario constantly. And so I was really scared that I would be ruining a vacation for someone. Um, but 
I am confident in saying that that didn't happen. Um, all of them were really nice helping me get around the house. There were many stairs in that house. So a lot of them helped me. A lot of them um, helped me with my walker. The walker was very difficult to get into the car sometimes. And so they were all just so sweet and made sure to check up on me, which I didn't like anticipate and didn't require but it was so nice so i just want to say thank you to all of them because i would not know what to do with myself my anxiety would be way worse without them and them being the amazing people that they are so anyway <laughs> the first day i was there there was only five of us um miss tori over at novel life um is actually a resident of atlanta georgia and so she is the one who kind of was the um not an event planner i don't want to say event planner but she's the one who kind of like knew everything that was going on because she is a resident of atlanta and so um she was very kind and picked a bunch of us up at the airport and even dropped us off so there was only five of us for a amount of time and then two more joined and then two more joined and then a couple of days later one more girl joined so um it was really fun seeing everybody trickle in and giving big hugs to friends and it was honestly an experience I will never, ever, ever forget about. We also did a live show, like our first night there. I'll link it down below over at Tiff's channel. We decided months ago when we were planning this that we're all going to be doing a live show to kind of like announce that we're all together. And it was so fun. I probably have never laughed as hard in my life than that live show. It was hilarious to be in that house when that happened. I will never forget it because it was a memorable memorable experience and yeah the next day we went to the botanical gardens in atlanta we walked around it was really nice i real i got to um get a wheelchair and my friends were so sweet and many of them pushed me in the wheelchair and um it was beautiful but it got really hot so we left and then we just did a bunch of other things we read we chatted about books we went out to lunch places day three we went and purchased a bunch of books which are the books i'm going to be hauling right here in a big stack um we actually have a picture i'll try and put it on the screen or a video clip whatever the case may be of all of the books that we collectively bought there are many and so i feel like all of us got a great haul from this experience and it was just so nice to be able to chat with people who love romance books as much as me like it was amazing like it's also amazing we could all just sit in silence and be happy about it and read books like i've never been able to experience that ever with a group of people and it was beautiful it was amazing and so yeah i had a great time with these amazing women and i am so happy to call them friends honestly and so i thought i'd get into these books you can go check out my friends channels i'll link down below if you want to see them and their videos and everything i recommend you go subscribe to every single one of them if you are not already because they're all amazing booktubers but i'll kind of walk you through the process of the books that i got so the first one that i purchased is a warrior's promise by donna fletcher our first day in atlanta was the day that i purchased this book i just had to get it because it was a donna fletcher that i did not have yet and i have been adoring donna fletcher's books so i'm going to be reading the summaries for these because i honestly haven't read the summaries for any of these because most of them were cover buys or step back buys or off buys because this was definitely an author buy for me it has been prophesied that four men raised as brothers will bring scotland back to glory the third one will first endure a lesson in humility and passion charlotte is as brave as any highland warrior but she can't rescue her father alone her sweet face could convince any man to come to her aid but fate has a funny way of complicating things for when she is lucky enough to land at the feet of the mighty bryce McAlpin. McAlpin? <laughs> Charlotte is in disguise as Charles. Bryce can afford no distractions on his vital quest to restore Scotland's true king to the throne. It is madness to instead give his help to the desperate urchin, especially after Charlotte's secret comes to light. Now caught between a growing passion and his dedication to the king, will Bryce turn away from love in order to fulfill his quest? Or will he discover that promising your heart is the bravest mission of all? I'm really looking forward to reading this. Um, it sounds pretty fun to me. I have been loving Donna Fletcher and there's another Donna Fletcher in this haul. So all the rest of the books come from the bookstore, bookstores days that we went to on Saturday. So we all got up pretty early to go to our first bookstore, which was Half Price Books. I love half price books and it was honestly amazing to see a bunch of the girls go into half price books for the first time because a bunch of them have never been into half price books and it was just amazing to see their joy 
it was beautiful. The romance selection in there wasn't that big, so not a lot of people bought romances from there, but there are a few other stores that we're going to be getting to that had a lot of pickings. So the ones that I got at Half Price Books um, are two beautiful ones, okay? Um, so first, the first one that I picked up is Worth Any Price by Lisa Kleypas. This is one that I did not own and I don't even know what series this is a part of or what number in the series it is. Also, um, I got this purely for my collection. I think it is a part of the, is it the Lady Sophia's Lover series? I don't know the title of that series, but I've never read Lady Sophia's Lover. But what is the price of love? Nick Gentry is reputed to be reputed, sorry, to be the most skilled lover in all England. Known for solving delicate situations, he is hired to seek out Miss Charlotte Howard. He believes his mission will be easily accomplished, but that was before he met the lady in question. For instead of a willing female, he discovers one in desperate circumstances, hiding from a man who could destroy her very soul. So Nick shockingly offers her a very different kind of proposition, one he has never offered before. He asks her to be his bride. He knows that this will be much more than a union in name only, for he senses what Charlotte does not yet know, that her appetite for sensuality matches his own. But what Nick learns surprises him, for while London's most notorious lover might claim Charlotte's body, he quickly discovers it will take much more than passion to win her love. Amazing. I can't wait to pick this one up. I love Lisa Clybus. And then the other book that I purchased at Half Price Books is My Lady Pirate by Danielle Harmon. This cover is immediately what got me. And if you can see closely, there is a very large earring in the pirate's ear, which I thought was hilarious and was showing it to everybody. Maeve Maverick is the notorious pirate queen of the Caribbean, a fierce and fiery she-wolf burned by the treachery of men. Sensuous and independent, she sails the world's oceans with her loyal band of women warriors. Desiring neither marriage nor love, she wants for nothing until the sea delivers her a treasure beyond compare. Her gift is Grey, a handsome castaway with a dangerous secret who is overcome with desire for the bold and bewitching pirate queen. Beneath a star-studded sky, Maeve succumbs to the magic of Grey's passionate touch, for the dark stranger has vowed to conquer the beautiful buccaneer's heart. But can he teach her to trust? and to love once more. That sounds amazing. I have yet to find a historical pirate romance that I like, so hopefully this one will be it. The next door that we went to was one called the Book Nook, and that is the majority of my haul here. I found some amazing books, and so I'm gonna show them off to you. The first one is Comanche Moon by Anita Mills. This was basically a step back purchase because it is honestly stunning. Um, I love it. I love a good two page step back. I don't know if I will ever read this book just because it deals with historical set in America, which I am not the big of a fan of unless it's a Joanna Shoup. I have yet to read an American set historical that is good that isn't by a Joanna Shoup. So we'll see if I will ever pick this one up, but this was definitely just a step back purchase. <laughs> one that I purchased mainly because of the summary, but also the cover because the cover is stunning, is For My Lady's Kiss by Linda Needham. Um, this one is stunning. We have raised letters on here and obviously this couple embracing. It looks like a Celtic-y romance. I don't know, um, but I'm gonna read the summary and you're gonna be in love with it, okay? Frustrated by the outrageous demand that she choose a husband or one have chosen for her, McKenna Hughes blindfolds herself and vows to wed the first man she touches in the circle of eager suitors that surround her. But as she swirls among the village merrymakers, McKenna suddenly crashes into a towering rock-like body and looks up into the dark, penetrating eyes of a total stranger. Lord Thomas Montclair has been sent by King Edward to take over the village and McKenna's family castle. Now he lays claim to the reckless scarlet-haired rebel who blindly made her choice, yet desires his right to either her village or herself. Her brazen courage amazes him, but her stubborn pride and fiery beauty stir a storm in his blood, and he vows he will wed her, tame her, and claim her wild, rebellious heart as she has claimed his. Doesn't that just sound amazing? I picked up another Donna Fletcher. Thank you, Sam from Sam Reads Little for finding this one for me. We have um, Tame My Wild Touch. This cover is absolutely stunning. Um, I loved the raised lettering and then obviously the clinch like cover on the front. The only kicker here is that the heroine in here, it has my mother's name. <laughs> 
and I have a really hard time reading books with family member names in them if you know what I mean you know what I mean so uh, we'll see you when I get to this one. When Prudence Agatha Winthrop learns her mother was still alive and living somewhere out west, she was determined to find her. Her proper Bostonian appearance wouldn't stop her from surviving the hazards of the Wild West or the cocky arrogance of the infamous and exceptionally handsome gunslinger Zack Stewart. This so-called gentleman thought he could hold her up with a few honeyed words and a warm embrace, but Prudence wasn't so easily swayed until she got a closer look at his incredibly broad shoulders and his devastating smile. The Wild West was bound to have its risks, but this rough and ready gunslinger seemed to be the greatest danger of all. This will be interesting because this is a historical set in America, but also has a heroine who has my mom's name. So. We're gonna see when I get to this one, but I absolutely adore Donna Fletcher, so hopefully I will like this one whenever I get to it. I found another Kathy Maxwell to add to my collection. This is Temptation of a Proper Governess. This is the first book in a series by her. This is the only one I've read in the series, so I have already read this one, um, and I just needed it to add to my collection. I already own book two, which is amazing. This is a governess romance that I really enjoyed, and I think I read the last round of the historical romance readathon, if I'm not mistaken, but I thought this was very enjoyable, and I can't wait to read the rest of the series also. And also Kathy Maxwell said, Backs are just amazing so I just had to revel in this. <laughs> then the last historical that I purchased on my trip is a Karen Hawkins and it is a belated bride and this cover is one of my favorites that I got on this trip and Karen Hawkins is a new historical favorite of mine so I'm so happy to have this in my collection. She'd never marry him. The last man Arabella Hadley ever wishes to see again is Lucian Devereux the handsome, desolate Duke of Wexford, who broke her innocent heart years ago and disappeared to London. So when she finds an unconscious man on her deserted country road and sees that it's Lucian, she's tempted to leave him there. But even more appalling than his presence is the brazen kiss he plants on her shocked lips and her response. So it would be totally insane to take him home and recover wouldn't it? Lucian dares not reveal why he returned to his country estate or why he abandoned the strong-willed beauty years ago, especially since Arabella clearly has secrets of her own. But when her scheming marriage-minded aunts successfully compromise them, the two are forced to become man and wife which make things even harder for both to battle the passion that never disappeared. This sounds amazing. I am so ready for this. I haven't looked what number this is in a series, but I'm just so excited to have another Karen Hawkins in my collection. So that was that for the book nook. And I feel like that was the majority of all my other friends' finds too was at the book nook. And that bookstore was just amazing. We spent probably the longest time in that bookstore and I just got to sit on my walker and kind of like, crawl through the shelves not crawl through but like push myself on my walker with my legs like all up and down the shelves of romances it was amazing and then we decided to go to i think it's called the eagle eye um which is a bookstore that kenny ryan used to do a lot of her signings in because she used to live in atlanta georgia um i believe she's moved but there were a lot of kenny ryan's in that store and the last book that i purchased was real. This is one of her newer books and I also got it signed. Um, a lot of us on this trip got this book. We were all matchy matchy. There's a big photo of us. A lot of us bought this book and I'm so happy to have this. I have yet to read it but I know my friends adore this one and that it has amazing chronic illness representation and so I'm so happy to have this in my collection. I believe this is a romance where our hero is like a film director and he's trying to find kind of like the star of his next movie and he ends up finding our heroine while watching a Broadway show. I believe she was the understudy and she performs one night and he is fixated on making her his lead role in his movie and they end up falling in love. And then we also went to two other bookstores, um, but we did not purchase anything. And honestly, I was very ill. We went to lunch, we actually went to Chipotle and one of the things I ate did not sit well with me and my celiac disease, something was triggered or something messed me up. So I was actually very ill. <laughs> for the next two stores. So I don't have any footage from that. I did not buy a single thing because I did not feel well, um, but I felt well the next day. 
it's okay. I also want to mention that I did get some other things other than books on this trip. Um, some of the girls made some things as bookish goodies and just like gifts for everybody. So my lovely friend Jen over at the Book Refuge, she has a like printer for um like mini pictures or like a printer that prints mini pictures there you go so she made each of us a bunch of pictures and i will show them i'm trying to get them all out of the envelope but the main one she made each and every one of us is a printed one of a group photo which is stunning to me um i love this and i will be definitely like putting it on my bulletin board in my room i have a giant bulletin board where i love to put all my favorite pictures so this will be there and she also printed out a bunch more for each of us um so we have like group pictures you can also go look at my instagram for like a better look at these so all the group ones are on my instagram but these are just Three I will highlight that she printed for me and I'm gonna get printed all my other ones that I don't have printed already. Like, I'm so excited to have them in my room and just have pictures with my friends. Like I met these people in person. And then I also made a little something for everybody. Um, so I made everybody a personalized bookmark with their channel name and then on the back, it says Romance Tuber Atlanta 2022. So each of them got a bookmark. I made one for myself so we could all match. <laughs> and then the next two items are kind of like a combination with Jess and Tori. They work together to make these next two items. Um, and so the first thing, it's a very dirty right now. I have yet to do my laundry from this trip, but I will show you to show you. Um, this is a t-shirt we all got. We got matching t-shirts. Jess um, designed it. It says probably reading a romance novel. And it says Atlanta Booktuber Retreat 2022. And it is just beautiful. We're all wearing this shirt in our um, group pictures. And it was amazing. I love that shirt. I need to wash it though so I can finally wear it again. And then the last thing is this tumbler. <laughs> They're all personalized. So this says Avery and then underneath this has my channel name and then on the back there's flowers kind of match the flowers that were on the shirt um and I have not put this cup down since I came home because it is amazing it's insulated has a straw if y'all don't know I'm a big straw girl I need my cups to have straws or I won't drink anything <laughs> so um and it's like an iridescent color it's a rainbowy i am obsessed with this so thank you so much jess and tori for putting all of that together i love all these girls and all these ladies and i am so grateful for all of them um i'm so excited to see everybody's videos we played so many games mckay i know put together a bookish jeopardy and that video is either already out or will be out soon and that was one of the best best times on this trip was playing bookish jeopardy it was so fun and then just really getting to know everybody in like person give them hugs have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people like i feel like i've grown even closer to these ladies and i'm blessed so um that's about it and so yeah i'll leave it at that um thank you all so so much for watching please go check out my friends link down below but anyways there you have it thank you all so so much for watching if you have read any of the books i talked about in this haul please let me know down below or if you plan to read any of them also let me know too and if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me any heart emoji of your choosing but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all wake up today's gonna be a good day 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 wake up today's gonna be a good day